Hi, good afternoon, good morning, good day to whoever may be watching this video from whatever part of the world that you're watching from. I just want to thank you for um, tuning into this channel. Um, I want to say thank you today. My name is Michelle and I share and speak what I feel in this season that God is saying for me to release and to share to you. Um, I'm going to be reading something to you that the Lord gave me back in April 2011 um, so it was April, excuse me, April the 4th, 2011. Um, that was like several years ago. So that was like more than 11 years ago this year. But I believe that sometimes when we get specific words in certain times, it may not be for then, but I believe what the Lord is doing in this hour, like this really resonate for right now, because we're living in a time where revival like we're on the press of it, you know, you know, with it, we're at the peak, we're at the mountain peak of revival, like revival is about to hit this hemisphere, like, you know, the globe, like, like the world, like it's about to be a massive tsunami of glory that hits this earth. Like Catherine, think about Smith Wigglesworth, Catherine Kluman, 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 Kluman. I'm saying her name wrong, Catherine Kluman. And, and and people who was with the Lord very strongly and heavenly, um, like just imagine them and, and what God was using them to do in the earth. They didn't see anything compared to what we're about to see in this time. Like we're 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 living in like like a glorious hour, like though it's the darkest that it's ever been light will shine even brighter in this darkest hour. So I want to read something that the Lord gave me. Um, 11 years ago this year, um, 11 years ago, um, reading, I'm reading you specifically. Y'all will see me looking down. This is from my paper. Um, I had tore it out a notebook, but I want to let you know, this is why I'm looking down. Cause I'm looking at this paper, but I'm going to read this to you. Um, a tsunami is an unusually large sea wave produced by a sea quake or undersea volcanic eruption. A sudden increase or in an overwhelmingly number or volume, a tidal wave. So that's the definition of a tsunami. So let me share with you what the Lord gave me regarding a tsunami. I see the Lord is saying, it's just like what happened naturally, like the tsunami that comes and just comes upon the land and just overtakes everywhere, everything and every, everything and everybody that's in this path, houses, cars, animals, whatever's in this path, it destroys. So I see the Lord is saying just like what happened naturally, spiritually, spiritually, the same thing is about to take place. His glory for this time is large in scope and in mass, like the ways we see washed away homes, cars, buildings, and people. No one can escape his glory that is getting ready to invade this hemisphere that has launched, that has been launched from heaven in this region, this time zone, wow. God is spiritually overtaking everything that has held his people captive. Let me read that one more time. God is spiritually overtaking everything that has held his people captive. Devastation has taken place in the spirit realm to all the enemies that are destroyed forever. So it's like, let me clarify this a little bit. So like when this tsunami of glory when this revival hit this land. So it's like every everything that's in the path of this tsunami is going to get destroyed. It's going to get washed away. Everything that's not grounded and rooted in the word of God is going to get destroyed in this hour. Um, I believe that for the saints, it's a glorious hour. But all those who are on the course of the of this world. The sea of this world will be washed away, drowned and destroyed. I'm not talking about 
naturally. And I'm not talking about something like a tsunami taking over the whole. I'm talking about a spiritual tsunami. A, a glory that's going to hit this hemisphere. That's just going to destroy everything in this path. It, nothing can stand in the presence of God that is not like God. We cannot stand in God's presence, not right, not our hearts cleansed and pure. So it's like everything that's not in there with God is going to get washed. It's going to get washed away. Let me read that one more time. I believe that for the saints, it's a glorious hour. For all those who are on the course of this world, the sea of this world, will be washed away, drowned and destroyed. And the very thing that will deliver, trust me, trust my word and heed my word, serve me or you will be washed away with the course of this world. All will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. He's releasing tidal waves of peace, strength, endurance, anointing, shalom upon his people. Like he, he's releasing He's releasing it like God is doing it. Nothing can stop it. So the devil, he knows. He got an inkling, but he don't really know because it's going to be too late. Just like if if they knew who God, who Jesus was when he walked this earth, they wouldn't even crucify him. They were so oblivious and so blind to the actual to actual Jesus being on the earth. They crucified him. And everybody has come into salvation because of Jesus' sacrifice. So if you think the devil knew that, he would have had them kill Jesus? No. So do you think the devil know what's about to happen? He has an inkling. He can't stop it. He can't determine the timing of it. So that's why he's selling distractions and disruptions and chaos everywhere. Because he's trying to plant little hot pockets of, of destruction everywhere. So that our eyes can get off of our creator. And get on everything that's going on around us. And we lose focus. Of what's going on. Hear. Hear. Hear the sound. Hear the sound. What's happening right now. It's approaching. It's approaching. A tsunami. Of God's. A tsunami. Of God's glory. It's revival. is hitting this earth. Like never before. Be encouraged. Be blessed. Get in your word. Stay in your word. Trust in God today. God bless you.